Association, ShrinersHospitalsForChildren.org. Well, good deeds do still happen, and a few days ago, it was Good Deeds Day. So, how can we keep it up and pay it forward year-round? Here with some tips from the Arison Family Foundation. David Arison joins me now. David, I'm going to start with you. You're looking fabulous this morning, my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, how can we get started? Because it doesn't have to be this huge grand gesture. It can be as something as simple as holding the door, you know, for someone coming in behind you. What else can we do? Uh, we can do anything that puts, hmm. uh, puts a smile on somebody's face. And uh, the interesting thing is that um, we had Good Deeds Day with millions of people uh, joining in. And I think that the energy that it creates um, gets a lot of people very uplifted and it helps them want, at least they want to incorporate these type of things in their uh, their day-to-day -day life. And I think that if you have that energy and you want to do it, then uh, you're, you're likely to do so. And the more you do it, the more it uh, it's kind of like a snowball effect. Yeah, and this is the 10th anniversary of Good Deeds Day. So who first started it? How did it really come about? So Good Deeds Day is a um, global movement of doing good that uh, my mother, Sherry Arison, initiated uh, uh, 10 years ago with the idea that anybody can do a good deed. It could be a organized volunteering activity, or it could be, as we like to say, good deeds on the go, just having a positive mindset. And uh, if you see something that you think you could help somebody and put a smile on somebody's face, then uh, please do so. Yeah. And when you tell someone, you know, maybe some of the benefits of doing something good for someone else, what do you tell people? Well, the um, first of all, you're doing something good for someone, and uh, you're going to impact their lives in a positive way. Uh, that as itself is enough, but the... Um, the other side of it is that we feel good, we feel empowered, we feel good about ourselves, and it helps us to want to be better people, to do good deeds uh, more often. Yeah. And David, what are some of the good deeds that you've done recently to help somebody out and make them feel good? Um, personally, I volunteer with, uh, with my company. We, uh, this year we went to an um, elderly home and uh, we did a lot of gardening and we helped uh, to make the place a lot nicer. Um, I'm touring for, uh, for Good Deeds Day and um, participating in uh, various activities. And uh, it was, uh, it's, a great, it's a great experience. But I think that the, the best examples are the ones that I had the ability to do some, something for somebody else and uh, on a day-to-day -day basis like there was this lady um, that rode by me on a bicycle and she had uh, bags from a supermarket and one just exploded open into a million pieces. Without thinking twice I helped her gather everything quickly and uh, so she can get back on her way. Unfortunately I looked around I was the only one helping her out. And um, I, I think that's the kind of mindset that we have to have. If you see somebody that needs a helping hand, then lend a hand. And yeah. uh, something unfortunate happened to her, but she's still left with a smile on her face. Yeah. Well, David, thank you so much for your time. Um, where can we go for more information? Uh, sharethegood.org. There's uh, a lot of information there on uh, things that happened on Good Tuesday. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time this morning.